Okay, go. Hello, everybody. This is Dan Parker, the blind machinist. I'm out in my shop starting a new batch of my Made in America pens. And one of the problems I ran across is I have to turn a shoulder to a certain length and a certain diameter on some of my pen parts. And you got a batch, you need repeatability. You know, in today's world, to be a CNC machine. Obviously, I don't have that uh, opportunity here in my shop. So I've been thinking about it, and I designed a mechanical stop for my cross slide, cross feed. So this was a stud that was for the taper attachment. I made a piece of thread on it, tapped it for 3816, obviously got a piece of all thread, made this block, and I used these two jam nuts as my mechanical stop. And when doing so, I wanted this block securely fastened. There's a slot in there, so I made it so it's got a slot that drops in it, but I needed to be able to drill these two holes accurately. So what I did is I drilled those holes 203 thousandths, my tap drill size for quarter 20, put the block in place, drilled one hole through my cross feed piece, took the block out, went back and drilled it back to 255 thousandths, and then I used that as a guide for my tap. Then I hand tapped it, put that in place, drilled this one 203, took it back out, drilled it 255, come back and hand tap this. So then I went back and counter bore uh, two quarter 20 caps for two quarter 20 cap head screws. And then I went around it with uh, my uh, roundover bit for a router, just to doll it up a little bit, make get rid of the points, try to make it look a little better, even though I can't see it. So I'm gonna demonstrate how I'm using this. So I have another mechanical stop here that I made for my left and right axis on my lathe. I made these a long time ago. So what I do is I go against that mechanical stop and then uh, um, I back off just a little bit for my first cut because I'm going to rough most of it on my first cut and then go back and take my final cut. I'm, I'm doing this whole step in two cuts. So we're shooting for a 0.368 to 0.372 diameter and my left side has to be two inches long plus or minus two. I have a mechanical stop inside my 5C collet. So let's see what we got and we'll go from there. I sort of know on my clock positions where I stop on my first cut because I've already done almost 60 this morning. Here's 1030. I started doing these about 630 this morning and I'm almost finished. This is actually my last one. <laughs> I always start left and go right opposite of most machinists. It's a little safer for me, and that's also how I use my mechanical stops. If you're turning into that mechanical stop, you can't feel the sensitivity as good as you can um, if you go against a stop and plunge feed in. So I'm against my left stop, turning that shoulder, and then plus with the angle, if I went all against my left stop shoulder with the angle of the feed, the, I mean the tool you'll probably put pressure on it and make it feed a little left let's just see where we're all So let's see what we're measuring. Point three seven seven zero. All right, so it's, I, I I thought I was a little light on my feel, so I need to go back. It's, that's five thousandths over. One point nine nine eight zero. So that's two thousandths there, so that's perfect there. So I'm gonna go back. I thought it was a little light on my feet on my cross when I dialed in that cut. It's hard. My right hand sustains so much damage in my wreck. It's hard for me to feel sometimes. All right, it's show time. Alright, 
373. That'll be fine. Um, cause that's gonna be, uh, threaded for three inch 20 threads. So there you go. Um, piece totally machined by 100% blind man. And these are going for my made in America pins. I hope everybody goes to my website, theblindmachinist.com. Check out some of the pins I make. I appreciate you following my journey through blindness.